The National Assembly Speaker Moses Rotangula has instructed the clerk of the National Assembly to formulate a legislative proposal seeking to consolidate bursaries and scholarships from the Ministry of Education, the National Government Constituencies Development Fund and the county governments. Now he has further written to the Ministry of Education requesting information and data necessary for the drafting uh, of the legislation. This is after petitions were presented to Parliament and that the High Court in Nakuru arguing that the scattered funds have led to duplication of awards. Give us on minor with a report. The MCA is giving bursary. The woman rep is giving bursary. The MP is giving bursary. The governor is giving bursary. The ministry is giving bursary. Help is dispersing money. The controversy surrounding education, bursaries and scholarships in the country now appears to take another twist as the Speaker of the National Assembly, Moses Wetangula, ordered the clerk to immediately begin formulating a legislative proposal that would lead to consolidating bursaries and scholarships offered at different levels by different entities. The same, same parents will go to the MCA, go to the MP, go to the women rep, go to the governor, end up with everybody collecting money for the same, same cause. If you can realign this, our problem will be solved overnight. In a letter dated 14th August 2024, the Speaker revealed the National Assembly had received a petition from members of the public, noting that, and I quote, the current uncoordinated approach towards the issues of bursaries and scholarships from public funds by the Ministry of Education, the National Government Constituency Development Fund, and the county governments has in some instances led to duplication of awards. End of quote. If you are able, and it's you to generate policy, if you can generate policy, this House will be more than happy to turn it into law so that we can amalgamate and consolidate these funds. The letter also detailing that the High Court has been petitioned in a Kuru Constitutional Petition number 812 of 2024, Laban Omusundi versus Office of the Controller of Budget and five others for the consolidation of existing bursaries and scholarships for purposes of coordination. This prompting the Speaker to write to the Ministry of Education requesting for information and data necessary for drafting the legislative proposal that would ensure fairness and equity in bursary distribution. This as Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Ogamba urged students categorized in wrong bands of funding to lodge appeals as the portal remains open until the 1st of December 2024. In a statement, he said 12,958 appeals have been received. Further, the Cabinet Secretary confirmed 5.2 billion Kenyan shillings has been released for students' loans and 2.8 billion shillings for scholarships. The latest developments also following Chief Justice Mother Kome's criticism of the new funding model, which he said creates inequity. Give us in minor easy Friday.